What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go do counting elements, alright? So you're given an, an integer array, R, and count the element X such that X plus 1 is also an R. If they're duplicates, count them separately. Um, so what you could do first is that you could actually remove all the duplicates in the array by putting them into a set. And then uh, loop through the array again and then check if uh, for each element uh, x x plus one check if x plus one is also in the array so yeah we're, we already i already did that so uh, i could just type it up again so so here i create a set no dupes i'm going to go through every single value value in my array so for auto val in array and i'm just going to insert no dupes into insert val into no dupes okay so that means now my set is going to have no duplicates right because set removes all the duplicates right after that all we have to do is just loop through it again and then um check if there's a count so for auto val yeah for for every val inside r and then all we have to do is check if the value plus one is also in it so if val plus one so now how do i check if the val plus one is also in it uh, i just have to do no dupes dot count All right so if it's also in it it'll e equal one right the count would equal one and if that's true i'm going to increase my number of elements to return so count elements to return <laughs> i don't know I'm, I'm a good variable names right count elements to return i'm going to add this plus plus And then after that, I'll just return count elements to return. And yeah, submit it. And it got accepted. So that's basically that's basically how you would do it. You would create a separate set to remove all the duplicates first because uh, we don't want to count them twice, right? Then after that, uh, you just loop through the array again. And for every value, check if the val plus one is also in in your set and if it is then we add it and then yeah then after that see if it is in our set we dot count is equal equal to one that means uh that means it's in our set then we add the number of elements to return and then after that we just return so yeah that's pretty much it um the next question is the middle of the link list and i already did that question so i'll just add that to the playlist i don't feel like going over it again so yeah uh please uh rate comp subscribe i'll check you guys later peace